welcome back friends uh, this is going to be the introductory video about the bacillus anthracis this is a very very dangerous kind of microorganism because bacillus anthracis uh, before 1980s uh, people won't bother about bacillus anthracis much much because uh, bacillus anthracis causes diseases in very few in United States uh, from 1984 to uh, 1990s and over 1990s up to 2000 there are a few reported cases uh, almost so let me write almost over 20 years so over 20 years there is only there are only three cases reported but after 2001 after 2001 so let me write it in the red color after 2001 the case is reported over 20 cases now the reason for that is bioterrorism bioterrorism sorry bioterrorism now, due to this bioterrorism effect uh, usually they they they've, uh, suggested that this kind of disease was caused due to due to uh, spread of anthrax anthracis spore via male right now from this thing one thing is uh, confirmed that they are having spores but uh, this is very very dangerous because in those cases they use this bioterrorism uh, this this bacillus anthracis spores as a bioterrorism weapon so this is really dangerous and from those times uh, people start to think about bacillus anthracis and the potent threats that bacillus anthracis can provide us because bacillus anthracis is a disease that is more common in a uh, pet like uh, like like goat like sheep and all these uh, cases but it is not uh, common in human infections because bacillus anthracis more like to uh, cause diseases in those pet like goat and uh, and sheep and all these things okay but still they can catch uh, our human uh, host as, as well so they can be transferred from those uh, pet into humans human body and they can cause diseases in human body also okay now usually this bacillus anthracis as the term such as bacillus it means they are also rods so they are also rods so the structure of this bacillus anthracis will somewhat looks like this so it's, it's a kind of uh, so it's a large structure I'm drawing but it's still it's a kind of this rod shaped bacteria and this bacteria can have spore now the look uh, of spore that bacteria can get after the sporulation it's slightly like this it is having an oval shaped it's in having an oval shaped almost central type of spore so this is a kind of spore that is that that they are going to find yes so this is a spore this is the spore of this bacillus anthracis so they are spore former so spore former bacteria okay so this is another new thing that we get till now so they are spore former bacteria they are blunt ended kind of bacteria and they occur singly uh, and sometimes in pairs uh, but very frequently in long chains right single and pairs is very less but they what we can find in microscopic field of view so if we look at uh, this bacteria in microscope what we're going to find that more and more bacteria as they're attached like this so we are going to see something like that so it, they are making their chain like structure like this okay so this is going to be if we zoom into one of the bacteria we are going to find something like that okay okay so and also they are non motile so let me write so these are the properties they are also non motile so non motile so they cannot move from one place to another place because they don't have any kind of flagella like that okay but they are having some important features the important feature is that they are having a capsule which is a protective barrier outside so let me draw the capsule here so they are having the protected barrier outside here it is the capsule right so they are having this and this capsule is helping them to establish a perfect infection how we'll be studying it in the pathogenesis part okay and they are facultative or strictly aerobic organisms they are strictly aerobic because um, that means they need air for their living okay so proper living they require oxygen okay and we can grow them in blood agar so can be grown uh, can grow so let me write can grow on blood agar so they can grow on blood agar okay 
so these are the general features and properties of this bacillus anthracis but the most important part is this one so because they can be used in bioterrorism we need to be thinking that what we need to do to prevent this thing though we haven't know that what are the sources of this spore in the previous case where, where the infection started thrives in 2001 but definitely uh, there's the approach and this is the intentional infection in those cases okay but still bacillus anthracis uh, can be controlled using different antibiotics we'll be using it later but as we can see this bacillus anthracis can infect both as well as uh, both 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 like a uh, pet like goat pig and uh, sheep all these things along with them it can infect us so it is a there is a tendency of infecting ourselves if we are having pet inside so if we are having pet if the pet are, are getting this bacillus anthracis bacteria then there is a chance that we can get it from the from the pet right so we need to be very careful of handling pet in our house and all these things before understanding this bacillus anthracis okay so this is the introduction in the future future video we'll be talking about the infection or infectivity of the bacillus anthracis thank you